It is super hard to believe that it is December 1st and it is gorgeous out. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to need these, but I've made the mistake of heading to work without gloves on and immediately regretting it once I get kind of close to the ferry. Okay, before we really get started here, I want to give an update to the six of you who care about how my running is going. Uh, I had a really good, probably, I'm going to say two weeks of just running pretty well every day. Longest run in the last two weeks was like 17, pretty good pace, it was just like exploring around. Um, and then this Tuesday, it's Friday now, uh, I ran to work and kind of noticed that like, like I was running slower and uh, that I was developing the, the slightest bit of knee pain in my left knee and uh, I didn't want to chance it anymore so this rest of the week I've been, I've been riding bikes and taking the ferry home to give everything a bit of a break. Uh, and, and well, I've sort of missed this so I'm riding it today. Now I just want to take a second here to um, address the fact that yes, I realize some of you have warned me that that will probably happen, and I think you'll be happy to know that you can say I told you so, and uh, that you were right, and I need to take people who are experienced in running's advice a little more, which I'm doing now by taking a break from running. I'm hoping to be back at it tomorrow. So once cross finished, I I started riding in these. I took I took the the clipless shoes off of the tri cross and I put flat pedals on with with like those straps, the velcro straps that go around it. That is a hateful way of riding a bike. I can't believe I used to do that. There was a time where that was all I rode, was those why not straps. Anyway, that's just, that's just my thought. I, I've been riding, I haven't ridden the, the purple bike in a while. It's been a while since I've actually like clipped in for a commute. So much better. Anyway, that, that really has nothing to do with the rest of the day. I just wanted to bring it up. Uh, my coffee maker at home, not that great. The coffee maker down the street who I get to pay to make me coffee makes great coffee. So I'm gonna go get some. I wasn't sure uh, what I was gonna shoot video of today. But uh, luckily this uh, this backwards bike from oddly enough uh, another massive YouTube channel Smarter Every Day came in to be packed up and, and shipped so I'm guessing there's some sort of conference or something going on that uh, that they did some speaking and, and did their like ride 10 feet with this bike that does weird things in weird ways. So immediately when it came in I kind of had myself convinced that uh, it was going to be a non-issue and that I would be able to ride it. Should sound like foreshadowing for the fact that it wasn't, but if that wasn't obvious enough, it, it was indeed pretty well impossible to ride. However, I'm not giving up just yet. I do, I want to keep, I'm going to keep trying. Get it. 
than trying to make this work. I honestly think that could be easily the most frustrating thing to ever try for 10 minutes in your life. And what's worse is the people who dropped it off have told me that at the seminar they were at, two people were able to successfully ride it without much issue in like the same size area that I'm in right now, which drives me absolutely insane because like, oh, I'm a, I'm a pretty okay bike rider and I just cannot figure out how to make that work. I bet if I spent all day on it, I could, but I'm not willing to do that. Now, the reason that it is here is because it needs to be boxed up to be shipped off to wherever it's going next. But, um, you know, I'm glad I had an opportunity to actually try and ride this thing. It is impossible. It's not doable. I don't believe that two people have done it. And if they had... Well, then obviously it's not impossible, but I, I think they're lying. Or two, uh, these people are, are geniuses. Or three, they've spent far too much time learning how to ride a backwards bicycle that they should, they should start a business. They should do something else. They should, they should just do something better with their time. That's all I think. And you cruising down Crenshaw in a motherfucking six foot. Come on, say that shit like you believe it, man. Like it's your word, still that shit. You stop playing around, loose the fuck up. There you go. <sighs> Goodbye, impossible bike. I will not miss you. You have hurt my ego. <laughs> But in all seriousness, if you get an opportunity to try one of these bikes, um, you, you should do it uh, and get as frustrated as I did today. Okay, so I feel like this video will end sort of weird if I don't try and tie this all together with some of my thoughts on what is going on with this bike. And I've sort of been confirmed a little bit by watching the Smarter Everyday video all the way through, which I had never done until, until right now. But my thoughts were, I wonder if I can't ride this backwards impossible bike because I've spent so much of my life riding BMX and putting myself into these like super strange subconscious decisions by like moving a bike in a weird way in the air, making sure that it's going to land properly, or for example, racing cross and getting into ruts and having your body shift in certain different ways. Like I'm, I'm, I'm subconsciously able to keep a normal bike up in all these super incredibly strange conditions that I constantly put myself into on a bike. And all those things kind of build up in your mind to a point where it just doesn't work on a bike that doesn't accept that kind of input. And like I said, this is sort of confirmed because he had done it with his, his child and his kid was able to learn it a lot quicker because he didn't have a huge solid base of regular bike riding. I think that's cool. Um, and I'm not willing, I'm not willing to give up the, the amount of bike handling skills that I have now to be able to ride a bike like that. So to make myself feel better, I'm going to say that I'm too good of a regular bike rider to be able to ride a backwards bike. And I would be interested to see, although I don't know anybody who can't ride a bike, uh, if, if they would be better at it than I would be. But uh, the bike is in a box and it will be gone and I no longer will have to worry about this ever again. And that will be the end of this vlog. <laughs>